Hi there. Thought I would pop in this morning and do a little video on making a flower such as the one you see here. I've been practicing lately using my airbrush to make different shapes of petals. Um, I, I know a lot of people use, you know, the puffer like this, but that hurts my hand. Some people use a straw and I just am not comfortable doing that. The canned air I feel like is harder to control. It ices up on you and it's kind of expensive and wasteful and maybe not so good for the uh, earth here. So I don't like to use that. So I've been trying to use this to do all those things, you know, without having to use the different tools, trying to do it all with this. So anyway, this is the kind of petals I was practicing yesterday and I'm pretty happy with the way they're going and thought I would show you. I'm gonna use these same colors that you see here today, which was just a drop of pitch black in the middle. And then the petals are using mushroom, but I have diluted it with um, alcohol in one of my little needle bottles. Really hard to say what ratio of ink to alcohol, but I'd say I put maybe a quarter inch of alcohol in there and then one squirt of the ink. So we also, We'll be using um, these little micro tip brushes and you need a tissue. So uh, color wise though, really you could do whatever you wanted. But the idea today is just to get those wide soft petals. This one, I think I started with indigo in the middle and used citrus to blow out. I think this one was coral and uh, willow maybe was the center. So then you can kind of finish them off however you want. So let's get started. Move these all aside so that I don't get more ink on them. I'm kind of bad about that. All right, nice clean piece of paper ready to go. Going to start with, let me move all these things out of the way. Start with a drop of pitch black. I love pitch black and its ability to split into multiple colors. So I put that drop down and then I'm blowing around the edges just to keep it from spreading too far. And I'm going to let it dry all the way before I start using the mushroom. Now the key with the mushroom, or not just mushroom, but any of these, the key to getting the wider petals for your flowers is that you have to use more drops of alcohol or the diluted you know, ink in alcohol on your paper than you expect you would. And you may have to mop some up off of the end using your tissue in order to get it not to run right off the edge of the paper. But if you only use um, a, a drop or two, it's really hard to get it to spread into those wide petals. Let's see if this is dry. that's good. All right, so hopefully I have enough in here. Actually, just in case, I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol. Just put a squirt of it right in the bottle there. Okay. So I just put... There we go. I just put a few drops right at the edge. About five drops. Let it sit long enough to soften the black. And then start blowing them out. That one's going to spread too far. 
so I just stopped the edges where I didn't want it to go any further. Keep pulling until it's all the way dry. Let me get my tissue ready for the next one. There we go. All right, let's try again. So you have to let it sit long enough to soften the black a little. Blow until it's all the way dry. Now the key I'm finding as I keep using the airbrush for the different kinds of petals is how you're holding it as far as the aim and where you're pointing it. So when I'm doing these petals, I put the ink right at the edge, but my first shot of air is pretty much down at the center. Because if I shoot right here, it just pushes that out a little bit. If I shoot right on the ink, it tends to spread out in a big splatter fashion. So let's see. Here's my ink. Give my one shot aimed at the middle of the flower, or a couple shots. And then I can switch over more on the flower and keep going. I like that usually when you mop up some of that ink and then you blow again, it tends to cover over most of the mopped up spots. This first shot will be kind of straight down at the center. Then I scooch over more on top of the petal and blow. Gonna stop that from going crazy. And I'm still blowing pretty straight down. If I blow straight down, it, it slowly dries the whole thing without making it go too long. If I dip it, it's gonna push it further this way. Too bad for demonstration purposes. So I would say though that I probably had a little more, a little bit more ink in my mix there than I do here because this looks just a little bit softer. And once that's done then you can do whatever you want for the center. I generally get my palette Pour a little alcohol in one of the zones that's a little more clean. And use a clean brush to just start dabbing alcohol in the center area. Now you can see that places where the ink is thinner, it's getting whiter. And places where the ink is thicker, it's staying really dark. And if you have too much ink in the middle and it's getting too dark for you, you can dab some of it off with your tissue. I usually do that maybe once. Then I can kind of keep going. But I love letting the colors that are naturally in the pitch black and the mushroom, which both tend to split into colors. I like letting those just kind of come out at least a bit. Mm, I think I better dry. 
Sometimes you have to drive in between. If you don't dry in between and your dots are too close together, then they tend to spread into big blobs. Again, on some of the darker spots and see if I can get them to soften up a little. That's looking pretty good. Now, if you decide you want a little more color in there, what I usually do is just find a spot in my palette that had some color in it that I like. And I can't really even tell you what color it is exactly because, I don't know, sometimes I drop other colors on top of the ones that were originally there. But for now, I'm just gonna put a little alcohol in that blue because I'd like to bring a little more blue out. Kind of soften it up down some of the dried up stuff from the sides. Mm. And go ahead and put some of that in here. Just using the same brush I was using before. I wish I could find these that were recyclable, didn't have plastic on them. Actually, I think that's pretty good. And you could keep going, you could add more colors, you could do more dots, whatever you like. But I think that's not too bad, just how it is. The other thing you could do if you want to is to splatter some little drops of alcohol on there just to make the little dots. It's kind of neat looking, gives it a little more interest. Now this one I did two rounds of petals, or two layers of petals rather, that's why this one looks more full. But I was just trying to give you the idea. Let's see, if I get a clean brush, put a little alcohol on it, and then just kind of adds a different texture, something fun. You can do it or not. I'm just playing around. Love trying new things. I needed a couple bigger ones. So anyway, there you go. I hope you have fun.